Alright everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome along back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about a potentially extinct animal or potentially is the ivory-billed woodpecker still alive in 2022? Now here on Wildlife with Cookie there is an interest in wildlife obviously but also there's an interest in the weird, the wonderful and the things that just shouldn't be there and in that category I guess that applies to animals that have been deemed extinct. Now we've talked about the thylacine quite a lot before and we've even talked about the Fiordland moose of New Zealand both of which at some point I would love to go and search for and maybe the one we're talking about today too the ivory-billed woodpecker. The ivory-billed woodpecker is the largest of the woodpeckers in its range and is currently listed as critically endangered by the IUCN. However the United States itself classes the animal as extinct. Measuring 50 centimeters in length with a wingspan of about 80 centimeters it can also weigh about half a kilogram. They've got quite a stunning look to them mostly black with white stripes running down the back ending with the wingtips. A bright red crest with yellow eyes and a big bill. The ivory bill's range is said to be in the southern eastern states of the United States ranging from Texas in the west to North Carolina in the east. Like most woodpeckers though they nest in holes in trees and forage through bark looking for things to eat which would mainly be insects like beetles. Their demise came about in a few ways. Heavy logging was a factor but also hunting by collectors was catastrophic to their population. Native Americans would use the ivory bills for decorations and way back then there was also a pretty big trade for them. It's said that their favorite habitat is swamps and forests and they like to be high in the trees and mostly out of sight. So with all that said the last confirmed sighting of an ivory billed woodpecker was in 1944 by a man named Don Ecklebury. Since then there's been nothing confirmed to say that the ivory billed woodpecker has lived on. No photos, no videos, no audio, nothing. Nothing confirmed anyway but we'll get on to that. But before 1944 when the last one was confirmed it was a really rare animal anyway and it was actually believed to be extinct up until that point. After hunting and logging in the 19th century it was thought that the woodpeckers were no more. However that was to change in 1924. A man by the name of Arthur Augustus Allen managed to find a nesting pair in Florida. Unfortunately though they were shot by taxidermists and stuff like that really annoys me. Here's some birds found that were thought to be extinct. Oh what are we going to do? Ch -ch bang let's uh, stuff it. It really gets under my skin but whatever we'll move on. From that nesting pair in 1924 nothing happened again until 1932. A man by the name of Mason Spencer was near a river in Louisiana when he killed an ivory billed woodpecker. Fortunately though he took the dead bird that he just shot out of the sky realizing it was an ivory billed woodpecker over to the wildlife state office and that sparked an expedition in trying to find these animals because it was obvious they were still alive. This expedition was carried out by Arthur Allen, the guy we've previously mentioned who found him in Florida, Cornell ornithology professor Peter Kellogg, PhD student James Tanner and avian artist George Sutton. So this was the all-star team that was set up to go and find some of these ivory billed woodpeckers. They set out into Louisiana in the swamps and the forests and almost straight away they had success on what is known as the Singer Track. Unbelievably they found a population of ivory billed woodpeckers there and they managed to film this video and audio clip. Right, how amazing is that? That is the only audio footage known to exist of the ivory billed woodpecker. It's the only confirmed one anyway. And from this discovery and finding these animals in this location, there were attempts made to try and buy this land, which at the time was owned by a logging company because they wanted to preserve the birds. They refused. But if we fast forward it and now for a few years, James Tanner, who was writing his PhD on the birds, was still studying them. He traveled across all of the ivory billed woodpeckers known range from Texas to Louisiana to Florida all across it and he came back with the conclusion that there must be about 22 to 24 birds still alive and six to eight of those were on the singer tract. Logging continued though and the bird sightings got fewer and fewer and that's where we meet up again in 1944 with Don Ecklebury as that's known as the last confirmed sighting. Anyway though in 1967 the ivory-billed woodpecker was listed as endangered by the US Wildlife and Fish Service. Fast forward that all the way over to 2019 and the 
US Wildlife and Fish Service is now proposing to call the ivory-billed woodpecker extinct. In September 2021, they pushed for the extinction of the bird pending public comments. A public hearing did eventually happen on January 26th, 2022, and then in July 11th of 2022, it was proposed that six months time would be allocated to try and find this bird. Ultimately, they want to determine its status. Are there birds still out there? If there aren't, then they can push forward with the extinction. If there are, obviously they can try and do something about it. And if I'm reading into that, maybe with rose tinted glasses, who knows? It would say to me that potentially the ivory billed woodpecker is still alive somewhere out in the United States. Or at least they have some evidence to suggest that there may be some knocking about. For me, if this was a closed book and nothing was there, the extinction would already have gone through. But that's just my personal opinion anyway. I'm sure you guys might have an opinion on that. Write them in the comment section down below. So what I've just gone through there were the official and confirmed sightings of the ivory billed woodpecker. But what about the unofficial sightings and what about the unconfirmed? Well, like most things, there are plenty of sightings to go about. Before I show and tell you that though, here's my Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel going forward to create more videos like this, then consider joining. There are different tiers that unlock different things, but you'll all unlock early access to videos, behind the scenes videos, photos you can use as wallpapers or screensavers, as well as updates and more goings on. If you enjoy what you see here, then definitely go and check it out. But with that said, let's get back to some interesting unconfirmed sightings of the ivory billed woodpecker. In 1950, six years after the last confirmed sighting, a wildlife sanctuary was set up in Florida on the back of maybe some birds nesting there. It was thought at the time that someone had seen a couple of birds roosting, so they bought the land in anticipation that they could try and preserve them. However, in 1952, this was cancelled after no birds were sighted. 1967, and now an orthologist by the name of John Dennis said he'd seen some on a river in Texas. Now, this man is of interest because one, he's an ornithologist, so he should know what he's looking at when it comes to birds. But two, he also rediscovered the Cuban ivory-billed woodpecker. That was back in 1948, so nearly 20 years later. Could he have also seen the American ivory-billed woodpecker? I feel like he's got the best chance of confirming whether that was an ivory bill woodpecker or not he's got the history he's an ornithologist it all seems to add up john also recorded an audio file which he believed to be an ivory billed woodpecker and it was said to be a good match but for the life of me i can't find this anywhere on the internet so if you guys know where it is please drop it in the comment section down below moving on to 1968 and a man by the name of neil wright said he'd taken some photos of what appears to be ivory billed woodpeckers in a tree hole roosting and if i'm totally honest Honest, at first thought here, I thought this is a 1968 Neil Waters, isn't it? But supposedly just below the fork of the tree, there's like a dark patch there and it's allegedly showing an ivory billed woodpecker. And I mean, I can't make out what that is at all. So I don't know what you guys think, but for me personally, I ain't got a clue. I can't, I can't see anything there. But in the same time period, a few other people had reportedly seen some ivory billed woodpeckers as well. They'd apparently found their nest hole, but before they went to search for it, a storm had damaged the tree. They did actually manage to claim something from this nesting hole, and it was in fact the feather of an ivory billed woodpecker. So you would think, hang on a second, Cookie, that sounds like it's confirmed. If that's an ivory billed woodpecker's feather, what else is there? Surely it's not 1944 anymore. Surely it's 1968 now. So this is where the problem comes officially. It has been identified as an ivory billed woodpecker's feather. The only problem is you can't date how old that feather is. So therefore, it can't be used as proof to show that the ivory billed woodpeckers at that time were still alive. Now, I don't care what you say, that sounds like proof to me. I know it's not official, but it sounds good enough, you know. Anyway though, here's something better for you. In 1971, a renowned ornithologist named George Lowry was contacted by a man named Fielding Lewis. He had reportedly taken some pictures of some ivory-billed woodpeckers, and forgive me if I get this wrong, in the Achafalaya Basin in Louisiana. Did I nail that? I don't know. George then went on to present these photos at an annual meeting for ornithologists with extreme excitement. However, George was laughed at and scrutinized and he was told that these photos were a clear and obvious hoax. They said at the time that these were quite clearly stuffed ivory bill woodpeckers attached to a tree. And fortunately for us right now, we do have that picture. So on the screen, this is what Fielding Lewis sent to George who then 
presented it to ornithologists. It shows an ivory billed woodpecker clinging to a tree. You can see the back of it, you can see the white stripes going down to the wingtips, the red crest. It's got all the shapings and the colours, the markings of an ivory billed woodpecker, but now hoax has been shouted, it really diminishes the claim. Even though on the face of it from 1971, this does look like the real deal. What do you guys think about that in the comment section down below though? Now we're going to skip through a few decades here and bring it right the way up to 2005. And this is a big one. This is a really interesting one because this time the Cornell Lab of Ornithology actually declared the ivory-billed woodpecker is extinct no more. That's how excited they were by this next bit. So to start this off, the year before in 2004, a person by the name of Gene Sparling said that they'd seen an ivory-billed woodpecker in the Cache River National Park. That then prompted an investigation by two people named Tim Gallagher and Bobby Harrison. And in their investigation, they both believed they saw an ivory-billed woodpecker. And because these two people thought they saw them, that then prompted a full-on expedition trying to find the ivory-billed woodpecker. This was led by John Fitzpatrick, who at the time was the director of Cornell Ornithology. In this expedition, they reported back that they heard the woodpecker making calls and they heard different types of knocking as well. But not only that, they'd also miraculously managed to film a little bit of footage of what might potentially be the ivory billed woodpecker. Now, it's grainy, it's out of focus, and it's, it's not a very good video, let's be serious. In fact, it was a complete fluke, it was recorded, but you do get to see the bird in flight for a couple of seconds. John Fitzpatrick Patrick, who was the director of Cornell Ornithology at the time, was so convinced and he put it down to the wing beats. In this video here, you see 11 wing beats, which is consistent of the ivory-billed woodpecker. Skeptics, however, they claim that this bird was in fact a pileated woodpecker. And really, if you put them side by side, they do look very similar. However, pileated woodpeckers have a wing beat of between 7 and 7.5 per second. Whereas the bird in this little video here has a wing beat of about 8.5 seven a second and if you go back to the footage from 1935 there is clear audio of an ivory billed woodpecker flying away and guess what the wing beat pattern of that was 8.6 and that to me sounds very exciting and very interesting and i believe that in this video it genuinely could be an ivory billed woodpecker and if you think back to that now 17 years ago there's a very real possibility that they're still around but that's where i'm going to leave this today there is plenty more to be said about the ivory billed woodpecker and i'll have more videos on that in the future it's a fascinating animal and i think potentially there could be a really nice ending to the story so if you don't want to miss out on any of that make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you've enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like as well as it really helps push the video out to more people and also consider checking out the patreon to help support me as a creator and also if you're into the extinct animals thing check out the thylacine videos i've done in the past but for now though is the ivory billed woodpecker still alive in 2022. I've been Wildlife with Cookie. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.